Hello YouTube and welcome to this special video where I'm going to be telling you which BattleBots look the best out of the 2019 lineup. BattleBots 2019 has already been filmed and some of the teams have been releasing images of their robots on social media and they look awesome. We've had some great looking robots over the years like Nightmare, Warhead, the 2018 Witch Doctor was amazing. Scorpios. In my opinion, a good-looking robot has to make you look at it and go, wow, that is a work of art. So, recently, some of the teams have been posting pictures of their robots on Facebook and even videos on YouTube. So, I've been trying to dig up some pictures and make a list of which ones I think look the best. Um, in this list, I'm only going to be covering some new robots, because um, we've seen the old ones already. So, I'm just, I'm just going to be shining some light on the new robots and the new teams and try to hype them up a little bit, because they deserve it. They look fantastic. So, jumping right in with number five, Shatter. Shatter is a Hammerbot, obviously, and it looks amazing. That triangular black, blue and white pattern on its chassis is amazing. The artwork just looks so natural and the bends, it's great. Um, I think the team also competed with Mega Melvin in King of Bots, or Robo Games. No, it was Blue that was in King of Bots. But it just looks so good. And that hammer is really powerful as well. It's just so aesthetically pleasing, and it's it's just the patterns are so nice on it as well. It looks effective and deadly at the same time, and I really like it. I cannot wait to see it. Um, I don't actually know any of its fight cards yet, but um, I think it will be able to handle some spinners with the way that those um, armor panels are angled. So they um, and it's also covered with vinyl as well. I read somewhere, and also it has omni wheels, so it can as well as moving forwards and backwards, it can literally move sideways. I don't mean turn, literally move sideways. It's amazing to watch. You'll see it in BattleBots. Number four, P1. Now, this was one of the first new robots that I saw from BattleBots 2019 on social media. And, um, wow. Just wow. The detail on this thing. Obviously, it's meant to be a race car. Um, I think it's designed on a Formula One car, although I'm not sure. But the detail on this thing is amazing. Look, it's got the rear wing. It's got the smaller front tyre. It's got the front nose, the pointed nose, and it's got the cockpit as well. It just looks awesome. It's a front hinged flipper, and we, I don't think we've actually had one before in BattleBots, or the reboot anyway. That's fantastic. Team's trying out new stuff. Um, they entered with Parallax last season. Now, Parallax's fights weren't actually televised, which is a shame. Um, Although it didn't work as they planned, I don't think. It got beaten by Ultimo Destructo, so. Yeah, P1 it's called. It looks just like the F1 McLaren from 2018. I could literally see Fernando Alonso jumping in that and driving away. Because the detail is amazing. It's got the headlights as well. And now, we've had one race car themed robot before. It was GBH2 from Robot Wars Series 6, but I don't think... It looks as good as this. Wow. Number three. Copperhead. Now, Copperhead, um, it's a snake. Um, it's based on a snake. Copperheads are snakes. And it's an egg beater spinner. And egg beaters look awesome by themselves. But this thing, it's so compact. And I don't know what it is about the colour scheme and the patterns, but they just look so threatening. And that's really what you want in a battle bot. Because half of it is a mind game, and if your robot looks like it's going to dish, it, dish out punishment and damage, then other teams will fear it, obviously. When you look at Nightmare, you see that big disc and nothing else. When I see Copperhead, I just see that heavy rotating weapon, that dense weapon. Fun fact, I think it's actually the same team that entered Poison Arrow, a robot that got an outstanding hit on Son of Waiachi in ABC Season 2. And that's interesting, because if that's a drum spinner, then what's an egg beater spinner going to do? 
I'm really excited to see it. Because, look at that. Just the detail on it and everything. I mean, the tyres, they just go so well with the rest of the robot. Um, nothing spoils the colour scheme, that gold, red and black. It's kind of hard to express um, my personal taste in robot design, but if you understand what I mean, it's just so... It's so, it's so e it looks so evil, but it look it's so small as well, and it's just great. I love it. And also, I'm interested to see how they do. Um, it may it looks like they might keep the egg beater weapon from, from actually hitting their opponent, but we'll have to see. Um, Robert Cowan, I think the builder is. He's been releasing some videos of Copperhead on his YouTube channel, so you should definitely go and check them out. The weapon spin up is amazing. Number two, Quantum. Wow, wow, wow. Quantum. The metal work, it just looks so, it's so good. It's so smooth. There's not a piece of metal out of place. Um, remember Razor from Robot Wars Series 7? I think this is going to be the Razor of BattleBots because it's a crusher. It's a vertical crusher, obviously. And it just looks amazing. The detail on it, the precision. And everything like those wheel guards at the front if you look at those they're so like curved around the wheel it's just so free-flowing such an aesthetically pleasing robot it's not just aesthetically pleasing the team team robo challenge also built spectre who i hear was very successful in king of bots so that's exciting battlebots released a picture of quantum in its fight card against Blacksmith, and so that's all they've revealed from the fight. But it looks amazing. The arena, the setting, the fire just lighting up the judges. It looks fantastic. And it looks like it's in control of the fight as well. So um, I don't know. I wasn't that BattleBots. I'm not spoiling anything. I predict that Quantum is going to make it to the final 16. Also, they put 4X on their robot like many. British teams did because Rex Garrod of Team Cassius passed away recently so that is a shame but they've put 4X on their robots and that's a nice tribute I think. Number one the most aesthetically pleasing robot in BattleBots 2019 in my opinion is Foxtrot. I think it's called Foxtrot. I hope it's called Foxtrot otherwise I'm gonna look like a massive idiot but the Fox Machine the picture of this fox machine, wow. Again, the detail and the colour scheme especially, I love that blue and that black. It just works so well. Craig Danby has made lots of great machines. He entered Predator into the last season of BattleBots, didn't do so well. Um, lost to Rotator. And he's also built Foxic and Apex. Now, Craig Danby is a great robot builder, and he's built so many robots that are all really effective. But whenever they appear on TV, they seem to get stage fright, and they don't really work as they're intended to, like Foxic. Um, couldn't self-right, Predator wasn't really driving properly, and Apex, of course, self-destructed. What I really like about Foxtrot, though, is how... It just looks so cool. I mean... I'm lost for words, literally, because it looks, it does look like Foxic, but the colour scheme, it just lifts it to a whole nother level. I don't, honestly, I don't know how it's going to do. Um, I don't know whether it's reliable or not. Um, I don't know how it's going to handle the big spinners, because it doesn't have a big wedge. But I will literally destroy anything that tears this thing apart, because it is a work of art. It deserves to be framed and put in an art gallery. That's how good it is and that paint job wow yeah so that's foxtrot um i think it's a lifter and hopefully it's actually going to self right if it gets flipped over we haven't heard its fight cards yet um battlebots haven't released them but i'm really excited to see it compete thank you very much for watching and Please watch BattleBots 2019, please, 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 and remember to like and subscribe. What were your opinions? Which robots do you think should have been on this list 
instead of the five that I picked because I have a weird taste in art. Thank you very much for watching. Hexbook Heroes out.